Good morning, fam. Good morning, fam. Your boy, Unk No Punk. Unk No Punk, a little short one just for you, fam, as a sip of my tea. Ah, well, anyway, fam, this show was going to be about um something I just saw on the internet. I heard Tyreek Nasheed talking about this here for a couple of seconds when I watched his show, right? He was talking about um reparations, a reparations rally in Washington, D.C. I see seen this film talking about, said I think it's supposed to be um November, somewhere, somewhere in the month of November. I don't know. I'm not hearing much about this here. You know what I'm saying? I'm not hearing a big uproar about the, um, the reparations rally. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> It's not getting the, the more the, the publicity that um the one million man march had, had gotten. No one's talking about it, right? Where are the FBAs at? Shouldn't this be on every FBA um YouTube channel, Facebook, and things like that? I should, I should see it everywhere. They're being promoted, right? But don't see it. Okay, when people get down there to a rally. Who's gonna be there? Who's gonna be speaking? Is it some kind of um, how you saying like a posting? Like Doctor Valentine will be speaking, you know, and just things like that, letting you know what's gonna be there. I just heard here's some kind of day in Washington D.C. at some location. I predict it's gonna be nothing but a big giant barbecue. <laughs> That's what it's just gonna be—a big giant barbecue. And like I say, for everybody, we want our reparations. Yes, but we need political power to get reparations. Without political power, you cannot get reparations. Why? Because there's no one to fight inside the Congress, the House of Representatives, for you. There's no one to argue that. You know? No matter how much you be on YouTube here with your channels, you know, your pro-black channels, whatever it is, and say we want our reparations, we want them now, we want them now. The higher ups are looking down, she's like, who the hell are you? There's no one to back you, no representation from you. You have no voice. So therefore, there's no voice politically. Reparations is not going to goddamn come. You think they're going to wake up one morning and say, we're going to give you our reparations, make everything good now? When they ain't had a chance for you over 100 years to do that, when they gave every, every other nation reparations, Jewish people reparations, um, the Japanese, Indians, you no know, casinos, land, every damn thing, you know? But black people didn't get nothing at all. Nothing at all. We still crying about reparations. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. How? We got no one to represent us. You know what I'm saying? We got a couple of Sambos out there. You know what I'm saying? You got that old lady from Compton. I think she is. Um, I forget her name, but she's always talking, talking, talking. But she's, um, she's real old. We have no young blood out there. Had to do Cory Booker from New Jersey. We had his little crooked too. So who do we have? We have nobody. Nobody to represent us to fight for um, reparations. We can't have Tyreek Nishi. They doing good things, keeping aware. Keeping aware. Keeping aware is not going to um, give them to cash that check, you know, cut that check for us. That's not going to happen here. until we get political power. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to see it in my time. I don't believe so. I'm not saying it's never going to happen, but... If we can um, inspire, motivate the young bloods out there, you know, to come out of college, tell them to get into the political realm, you know, be senators, mayors, you know, um, governors, whatever thing, maybe a, a, a real black president. And that's what we really need, a real black president, you know what I'm saying? If we had a real African-American black president who ancestors for, you no know, was in the goddamn fields, growing rice, picking cotton, things like that, not like Obama who had an African daddy and a white mama who had no kind of roots to um, slavery in America. That's what I mean when I said we need a, we get a real African-American side there. Maybe things got them changed. But until then, I don't see a change in fam. I mean, um, Randy, you put your, your parade, you know, Randy, your um, reparation rally. But um, that's the way I just feel about it. I need to um, organize a little more, you know, publicize a little more. I hear nothing about it. Nothing at all. A few little meatheads talk on the internet there, like, uh, uh, I'm going, uh, uh. They can barely speak. <laughs> so, so some, some intelligent person, some kind of professor come up there with some kind of dialogue, they probably wouldn't understand that shit there, fam. You know what I'm saying? When we understand it. Reparations is a real touchy matter. Everybody screaming for reparations. So like I tweet for you, if you all follow Unk No Punk, I bring you real shit there. 
Everyone does not deserve full reparations. You know what I'm saying? How are you going to dally it up who get reparations? You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, if you could um trace your roots to grandma, great grandma, and back in them goddamn South Carolina Geechee like I can do there and go all the way up to down and see no kind of white people out there, then I say we deserve, I deserve full reparations. But if you are mixed by race, you, yes, mixed with um Haitian, Jamaican, whatever it is, you're not full from here, then how you how you deserve um Reparations like us. How can you add this up? How can you total it up? You know what I'm saying? Once you you mix in with something, some kind of Jamaican, whatever it is, Jamaicans, they were the slaves here. They were slaves in Jamaica. They need to get their reparations from goddamn what's the name? King Charles now, since the Queen has passed away. You know what I'm saying, fam? You know what I'm saying? It's all about us. It's all about us. But for us to get what we want, we got to deflect from these other people just because they got brown skin. Reparations, oh, this and that, 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 nah, nah, nah. You ain't come here in maybe 1800, 1700, what the hell the goddamn time it is. And you work the fields here. You know what I'm saying? You was a Jamaican trend there. You was some other goddamn place. So you need to go there and talk your shit. Stay out of our business here. We need to get the young bloods, like I said, out of college and get inside that political mind. You know what I'm saying? Get in that game, that political game. These chump other people out there, they get inside the goddamn game, you know. They making wealth. You know, getting wealth off this shit here. You know what I'm saying? But we get some good true blue. You no know, true black <laughs> brothers and sisters out there, some young ones, some fire in them, you know, some spunk in them that's going to fight for our rights, then therefore, reparations could probably be getting, be getting, but it's not going to be in this generation, fam, right now. So that reparations rally shit there, you need to um, promote it more better, market it more better, you know, let people know what y'all talking about, you know what I'm saying, what's the plan, you know what I'm saying, everybody say, we need a plan, yes, where's the goddamn plan, some things we written out, some PDFs, so they can look at this, see what's going on, and maybe we can cut contribute to the, um, to the cause. But we don't see that, dear fam. Reparations rights is going to be nothing but a goddamn big fucking barbecue, fam. That's all it's going to be. A whole bunch of motherfuckers sit around talking. Yeah, the black man, the white man. Oh, yeah, y'all cool. We made the white man. All this other yada yada shit. <laughs> and nothing's going to happen. They're going to take their ass back home and got their train and buses. That's all they're going to do. They say, we had a good time at um the big bad barbecue. And I'm out, fam. Peace.